Hi gang, Dr. Ron Kappas, Linda Trough. Okay, uh, those of you that have listened to the show uh, uh, heard me talk about branding and the importance of having a consistent brand or name across the social media networks. Have heard me talk about a tool called Noem, a website. It's k n o w e m dot com, Noem dot com, and Noem is a place that you can use in multiple ways. Uh, if you want, you can go in to check a particular uh, brand to see if it is available and where it is available. Or you can actually do that and then pay them to have them create the profiles for you. Uh, that's not how I use them. I use them merely for detection. So if you have a brand you're considering and you want to check it out, and what you do is you go to knowem.com and you type in in this particular case, let's say you do WordPress, and I want to type in, and I already had for this test, I do WordPress, and you want to see if that would be a good name to use and if it's available on other platforms. Obviously, if you install WordPress blogs or do things with WordPress, uh, I do WordPress is not a bad name uh, brand to try to latch on to. So whoever sees this video, uh, I haven't checked availability on domains, but we're going to check right now availability on the sites. So we're checking for it now. And the first thing it'll do is it will check the most popular sites. And we come in and we take a look, and it's checking MySpace, Dig, Delicious, Twitter, StumbleUpon, YouTube, Flickr, Squidoo. You can see all of these it's checking. And we already know we're on toward a home run. It is available right now on all of those sites. Now, you also have the ability to go in and check social networks. And when you do that, it's checking for I do WordPress. And it breaks it up for you into categories. Now, the primary categories that I'm interested in will be things like blogging, microblogging, communities, and video. And as we take a look here at blogging, we can see once again it is everywhere available. Uh, if we want to take a look at social bookmarking, uh, which you may want to take a look at, and you take a look there, we already know it's available in some of the larger ones, but let's check the category. And once again, it's available almost everywhere. A couple of places that may not be available may be because of the nature of the name or the site may be under suspension. You have business sites, community. If we want to take a look in community, uh, we can do a quick look there. And we can see once again, you're on to a winner if you do WordPress. You can check entertainment sites, health, information, microblogs. That would be another one that I would always check. And we are good to go there. And now let's go take a look at photo sites. Clear there. Uh, text sites, I'm going to skip, but I am concerned with video. And guess what? You're good to go. So, the next time you're considering a brand, you're going to want to come in here and check to see if it is available or not. Uh, and you want to be available virtually everywhere. And unlike the minor 49er from the old Gold Rush, you want to go out and you want to stake a claim to the profiles on the key sites uh, that you want to tap into. For example, uh, if it were a blog, uh, obviously places like Blog Catalog, uh, Blogger, Discus, Hello Text, uh, Live Journal, Instablogs, uh, Tumblr, WordPress.com, uh, TypePad if you're wanting to have a paid host. And uh, basically, it's all right here for you. If you want to get a preview of what they look like, all you have to do is click on this, and it'll take you over and show you. 
Okay, then go to your whoever your favorite hosting source is, and you can see if the domain name is available. Uh, I haven't checked with their source before, but I'm going to click on the link right now and see uh, what they may show there. And we go in and we take a look, and we see that it is searching for all of these variations. The only ones I would ever be concerned with uh, in the U.S. is I would be concerned with .info. Uh, you can get that from so some places for as little as $1.99 uh, for a year. Uh, .org, possibly. .net, uh, because it's a technical domain. Uh, and I do WordPress for, is for sale. I wouldn't worry about that anyway. On the day of social media, uh, we know that info, net, and org will draw as well, if not better, than a .com because it's so much in the pointing. Uh, there is no discrimination against .info or .net uh, by the search engines anymore. So I would go to find the uh, one that made the most sense for you with whoever your registrar might be. Okay, that's Dr. Ron Caps. I wanted to show you how to go in and use a site that should become part of your everyday and uh, effort whenever you're considering starting a new brand or if you're working with a client trying to help them find an identity that they can use across the net. So if you do WordPress, we just did the work for you. Good luck and let me know uh, what you did with the domain. Take care all.